Hey guys, a couple of things. Um, on our eminent domaining where they're taking the farm property and leaving us a few acres around our houses, I was <laughs> I was just in the process of working on figuring out the fencing and what we want to put in where, and the government contacted me and said, you know, um, uh, we, we, we want to help keep dust and noise and security and everything from our site to your site. We don't want your animals or grandkids or whatever wandering onto our construction site. So uh, we'd like to border your entire property with a uh, brand new six foot chain link fence with um, privacy screen slats in it. And do you object to that? I'm like, no. <laughs> Can I get a moat and some barbed wire with that? Um, so uh, that's pretty cool because that's, according to my calculations, out here around 45000 bucks worth of fencing and uh, maybe more with current prices. Um, but I have a question for you guys. Um, larger animals, horses, cows, maybe goats, how are they going to treat that fence with, with the slats and stuff like that? Are they going to mess with that fence in some way um, uh, because some of you know we, we had planned in our new layout to have like a horse stall area that would be now partly enclosed by this fence do we need to keep them away from the chain link or are they going to just treat that as if it were a wall um, so anyway any input you guys have any experience with larger mammals and uh, chain link fences I'd appreciate um, one more thing speaking of the prices of things you know with this inflation we're having um, this is instance caused inflation there are reasons for each of these things skyrocketing um, and uh, there's not I'm, I, I just I saw a guy the other day who literally was buying pallets of wood, um, you know, two by fours and, and uh, plywood and stuff like that as an investment at these prices, eight bucks a piece for shitty two by fours. Um, and I just got to say, guys, when everybody is panicking and screaming inflation, 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 yeah, there's going to be some of this is going to last, but it's kind of like when everybody is screaming buy, buy, buy on houses, which they're doing right now it's not usually historically the right time to buy when everybody else is buying you know things like lumber um, there's plenty of trees out there there's plenty of lumber out there it's a production glitch as it were it's a hiccup in production stumpage prices which means the if you're selling timber to be cut and sent off to the lumber mill the price you get is not very good so these things are are kind of temporary you know um, food prices, yeah, food at the basic producer level is skyrocketing just when I get out of farming. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, and a lot of that will probably remain because food was historically low. But a lot of the price increases you're seeing are product, uh, production increases. And um, again, a lot of that is not going to stick, guys. So. I wouldn't get too crazy about the planning for hyperinflation thing. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's just my it's just my thought. Try not to go to the extremes in your th thoughts because the media bombarding us with crap makes it all seem bigger than it really is, you know. And um, we have to guard our minds against that because we're all susceptible to it. Um, no matter how smart we may think we are. <laughs> so if you find yourself, some part of your brain panicking, it's probably time to stop and take a deep breath and think things through more calmly. This is why God invented beer. <laughs> so let me know about the chain link and the larger animals. I'm out.